Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Kayla LaFrance. While fully immersed in scientific research and spacewalks, the crew aboard the International Space Station is also preparing for an orbital rush hour. On Thursday, astronauts Nicole Mann of NASA and Koichi Wakata of JAXA went outside the station's Quest airlock for a spacewalk. The duo spent their time outside the station completing the installation of hardware which was required to prepare for the next installation of rollout solar arrays on the starboard truss structure. This was the pair's second spacewalk together as they worked to finish the external installation job that they began on January 20th. February will be a busy month for traffic around the space station with multiple spacecraft leaving and arriving to the orbiting laboratory. We will kick off the orbital spaceship Tango with the departure of Progress 81P from the Russian segment in early February. Then we will see the launch of Progress 83P from the Baikonur Cosmodrome shortly after, followed by its rendezvous and docking with the ISS. Following this, we look forward to Progress 82P departure to make way for the arrival of 69S, the uncrewed Soyuz that will launch on the 20th from the Cosmodrome in Baikonur. This Soyuz will arrive to the station on the 22nd and will replace the current Soyuz spacecraft that experienced an external coolant leak from an orbital debris strike while docked outside the station on December 14th. And finally, NASA's SpaceX Crew-6 mission is targeting the launch and dock at the end of the month as well. As always, live coverage will be provided for all upcoming launch and docking events. So follow us on social media or head over to NASA Television, the NASA app, or the agency's website for more information and times. Space to ground. On Monday, NASA astronaut Frank Rubio replaced experiment samples and research hardware inside the combustion integrated rack for a study exploring how fires burn and weightlessness to improve fire safety techniques in space. The SOFI gel payload is measuring the amount of heating in a fuel sample to determine how fuel temperatures affect material flammability in a microgravity environment. Researchers hope to use the results from this investigation to improve our understanding of early fire growth behavior and to help determine optimal fire suppression techniques, improving fire safety for both here on Earth and for crew safety in future space habitats. And that's Space to Ground for this week. Thanks for watching. We invite you to follow the science on orbit by following at ISS underscore research on Twitter. We'll see you next week. Subscribe for more space.